What's up everybody, my name is Black Wolf, welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Odyssey Fate of Atlantis DLC video. Yes, that was a mouth breather. And I was thinking about it recently, and so right now the goal is I want to go find another insight. The, the second insight within this region, and I was thinking about it, that section where we went down into the cave that we came out of to get the journal for Hakati and or Hakate. I want to say it's pronounced Hakate. That's how I'm going to pronounce it from now on. Only because in Assassin's Creed Liberations you have Hakati, who was your main character's uh, mentor. But anyway, Hakate. We had to get the journal from her. And what I realized is that there was this little section where we were going further down. And it kind of told us that we were going outside of the exploration area. See, see the mark. So I, I marked an area where I believe it was. I was telling you guys a while ago that I believe it should be here, anywhere between this region, as long as it's not like super close to the last one. And over here made kind of sense because it's kind of secluded. That and this right here, but uh, because it's like a little cave right off of where Hakate was. So I was assuming there, but I'm like, hmm might be a little too centered to the map so I chose over here first and as I was thinking about it I was thinking about that section where we were going further down and then it told me that we were no longer in the exploration area to find the journal so I instantly went back and I didn't go to back down there but now that I actually think about it right here too you see you see all these sparkles right here that only happens when you're near an Isu artifact and that's what I was thinking about what if we find this insight and it leads us right below where those sparkly parts are like the little butterflies and you see this too where i was telling you guys where this area looks like we need to do something can we just go straight under move hmm okay it's one of those can we climb on it no. So I'm going to choose over here first. This one, yeah, this looks pretty easy. Get up. Whoa, how does this work? This is an interesting one. I, th I Oh, I can see it now. I see it. Pull this one out of here. And... Yep, I see it. There we go. We should be able to squeeze there. Perfect. Simple. And then we move here, there. Oh. Oh, I get it already. You guys see it already? I see it. This is interesting. I keep saying, do you guys see it? If you guys don't, pretty much. Okay, I see how it is. So we gotta go to each side. Gotta move these things. Just gotta break this too. We gotta break this. And we've got to pretty much move it out of this big piece area. That like little that big thing right there. Right over there we have to move. We gotta move that out of the way. And we should be able to push it all the way forward until we find a little place. We could stash it and put it out of our way, pretty much. I'm horrible at explaining things, but I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. There we go. And now that we have some space here, we can just go around it. Nice. Okay, so we got... So there's a broken wall to our left there. That's behind us. Another chest. So there's one more chest we have to find in order to get this Gia's underpass. Here we go! Dead Hero's Haven! Perfect! We found it, people! Amazing! See? Sparkly things! Isu sparkly things! I swear! It's probably something as just something very simple and unintentional, like freaking fireflies. But I'm just taking it as if it's Isu. Because <laughs> it seems that's how, that's how I pretty much saw it every time I play this game. Okay then, next insight. Amazing! Love it. See, when I when you see stuff like that, sometimes Chronos Time Warp. Oh, that's the new slow motion version. 
I could already turn that into... I could already turn that into a new one. Yeah, right here. Well, uh, let's preview it. Let's see. Slow time for 5 seconds. Headshots performed during this time extend the duration by 2.5 seconds and increase the headshot damage by 20, 125%. Ability wears off after head, 5 headshots. Holy moly! Enhance that, of course. Amazing. So, there's four insights we actually have to find, but there's only three located in what that we can find within the open world. So, I could only assume that the fourth one will probably come after meeting up with Hermes. And being that we're not inside a like a restricted area right now, we might be able to time, not time travel, freaking uh, respawn somewhere. So we have to meet up with Hermes, and I don't see any marker telling us where it is, so let's look at the quest real quick. So give him Hades, yeah, oh, okay, so that's weaken Persephone's control. Find and retrieve the keepers. I already have two. The last one, or at least the third one, is in the fields where Persephone is in. Didn't mean to exit the out. Um, the keeper and the key maker. Talk to Hermes, but it doesn't tell us where he is, so I'm going to track that in a minute. But just so we could get that uh, one location, this one right here, that Kaluyan's heritage completed, I am going to find a place where we can destroy and finish taking out the conquest areas. So I'm just going to... I'm going to head here and then I'm going to look around until we find some things we could uh, lower the control. And I'll see you guys when we get there. We're back in the heritage region. And I believe that this is a good uh, little area being that with how little control we have left to take back from Persephone. This seems like a pretty simple area. If it is uh, a little area to take over. So, I don't see any Hermes teleporters, but there is... Yeah, here we go. Hand of Hades. Interesting. So we got some Hypnosis to take out. Some One Provision and one Hypnos. Okay, this actually might not be enough. But hopefully it is. Hopefully we could just get it done in here. That'd be nice. Because we don't really have any more areas to take over. Hopefully there's some colossi here. I don't see any off the bat. It's kind of harsh. Huh. There we go. There we go. Persephone's controller is down. That's nice. Oh, that's interesting. That was interesting how they were all just standing there. It was just them too. So I can only assume that her control is now down. Oh nice, it's all green now. Perfect. Copper mine. What is that? What did that say? Compromise domain? Nice. Now we can just head back down and head over to Hermes. So let's go ahead and track this quest. I was just right on it. There we go. Track that and see where this is. Oh, don't tell me it's back over it. Where is this? Oh, it's over here? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I don't see a road that leads there, though. Huh. I'm just looking to see if there's maybe a road we can take from here. So I'm going to sp spawn here real quick. See if there's a road. See if there's a road over to the right. Yeah, there is. That's nice. Perfect choice. Wow, standing here just brings back so many memories. Ha! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so let's go ahead and call Phobos. Will you come over? Yeah, there we go. There you go, buddy. 
That's actually too far away, to be honest. Minnow's face. Perfect. These flowers look almost burnt. Or dead. I wonder if it's just us and our horse. That'd be a cool detail if our horse actually kind of like kills flowers that goes anywhere near. <laughs> so it's a modest workshop, he says. So we should expect a modest workshop. The Keeper and the Key Master. Marble Maiden Tribute. Where's that? Here? Oh, it's over there to the left. Alright then. Ah. So, nice. Nice place to be. I guess you could say it's pretty modest. There he is just sitting there. That's nice. Ah, you again! Always nice to see a friendly face. Alrighty then. Keeper, you found my workshop after all. I know it may not look like much, but it's home. I told you. You can call me Cassandra. In front of the staff? Ha! But I'm glad you came. There's much to show you in this great land. I'd like to see it. This is the land of the dead. Okay. I'd... If you're offering, I could use some help getting my bearings. Oh, give yourself time. The golden fields reveal themselves slowly and selectively. But I can help. Walk with me. Maybe you're right. I need to clear my head. Where to? I consider myself a key maker. One of my keys might interest you. What do you do in your workshop? Invent. All of reality's secrets are hidden behind doors. My invention is keys to unlock those doors. You reveal the secrets back. Ah, this wise is Pythagoras. But why discuss the secret secrets? Observe, way up there, Persephone's first key. If only you could have seen it when it was new. It seems like most of Elysium is in ruins. What happened? This place is beautiful, as are all of Persephone's creations. But it is a world that changes at her whims. When I see Decay, I know she needs us at her side more than ever. Ride, Phobos! Heroes who have passed through those golden fields, basking in the glory of eternal peace. Each thinking they'd see nothing more beautiful, only then to set eyes on Persephone. Move! Why does he get straight off? He doesn't have to get off his horse. That encampment is the site where Iphastos built a home for Aphrodite. Doesn't look like much now. It stood tall until Aphrodite met that child Adonis. His ability to wreak havoc with a wink and a smile is second to none. Darion's claim. So far, pretty nice. It's a nice tour given by Hermes. I like this. Come. That cave leads to a key I built for the staff. Consider it our secret. The key maker and the staff keeper. Friends bound by mysteries. 
the keeper and the maker. I like that. I wonder what it ends up being. Oh, that just made a silver. That's kind of cool. Okay, so we got to climb up there. I see how it is. Oh, nice. Well done. There we go. There, all right. Let's see, a key made for the staff. I wonder what it could possibly be. Hmm. It's a key for the, I'm trying to think, like what, what kind of key can you make for the staff? Like, is that the fourth insight that is mentioned? It'd be an interesting one. It's all the way up there. Oh, we have a. Uh, oh, that's that goes down though. Oh, nice. I see. I see how it is. I see how it goes now. It's kind of cool how they have this all laid out. Precursor's reflex bow. Interesting. Okay, so... Wait, how do we still get up there, though? I don't see a way to get up here, though. Were we just janked? Were we just tricked by Hermes? Did Hermes just trick us into going somewhere we didn't need to go? Oh, it was right there, too. We went the wrong place, too. What? Wait, did we? No. Wait, yes. What? No. Oh, yeah, we went the wrong direction. Oh, dumb me. Dumb, dumb me. I'm a dumb, dumb. Okay, so... Where's the... Uh, so the Hermes teleporter is over here. I can't go up here, can I? No, darn. Got myself stuck. So I did go the wrong way. I, t I should have looked behind us to the right, but instead I went straight to the left. But at least there's a shortcut right here. It's almost as if they planned this. There we go. Oh boy, I can't go up there. How do I get up there? Right there, that's how I could have got up. So we weren't going the wrong place. Oh, jeez. This game. This game and its puzzles is unnecessary. What did I do? No. What did I do? Are you telling me I have to go all the way back? Oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to actually just cut there. I'll, I'll see you guys when I get this right. Okay, so let's try this. Do I even run a risk it? Just in case. I should probably do this. I can't even do that, can I? There we go. I see how it is now. Now that we can do this, just move this out of the way. Just in case we mess up, right? Just in case we mess up, we could climb right back up. Come on, crap. There we go. Nice idea, nice idea. Um how do we do this? There we go. 
There we go, there we go. So there was actually a huge mistake <laughs> trying to redo it, though. I don't know what destroying that will do, but I'm just doing it. There was a huge mistake. As I was on my way back over, I... <laughs> I fell off, so I had to go all the way. We going the right direction? I think we are. Yeah. Okay. I ended up jumping right off the cliff accidentally, so I had to climb the, up the cliff. So I'm glad I was able to cut it so I didn't have to bore you guys. Um, you can't do that? That seems so simple, though. That seems simpler. Let's go ahead and do this, actually. There we go. Isu Warden Treads. Interesting. Hopefully this takes us up there. Okay. Uh, we seem to be... Nice! Good places. We're in good places now. Veiled Altar of Hermes. Oh... I probably just missaid first word. Either it's vile or veiled. Huh. There we go. I have a high expectations for this key. You're joking. Okay. That was a real leap of faith. Oh. Oh, that's it right there? Oh, that's gotta be the fourth insight. Interesting. I love how it says to go right back up there. There we go. Ares Bull Charge. Oh yeah, I remember this. This is supposed to be like one, instead of going like an entire charge, instead of doing like an entire charge, it's just like a forward and that's it. So I should be able to replace this for the shield break. Because if it knocks you back, maybe. I don't know. Actually, let's look at the video. I wasn't even looking at that. Let's see what it is. So that's what it is. It just pretty much pushes them back. So it's like a bull charge, but without moving. So actually, let's take this shield back and use that for this one. Seems to push everyone back. Replace it. Yeah, Ring of Chaos. So the Ring of Chaos just pretty much, yes just pushes everyone back so if the idea if the bear Ares bull charge does the same let's do that instead that sounds smart where does this lead this lead back seems to be in the right direction oh nice Now that I could uh, do so safely, let me show you guys how I made a mistake last time. Yeet. I'm back. What happened to me in there? Imagine for a moment. Inside you, inside all of us, are parchments twisting like ribbon. On those parchments is written the story of who you are, who you were, and who you will become. Does that make sense? It doesn't make sense, I understand. Written parchments of who you are, who you will be, and who you will become. Or who you were, who you are, and who you will become. If that's what he said. I really do not pay attention. Um, let's see if this choice will actually have him explain a little bit more. Like everything else here, I don't understand any of it. Let's call it the fates then. 
Your fate is predetermined, but what you experienced in there was a key I built that can unlock it and allow you to control it. I've built many. Thank you. I'm not used to doing this on my own. On the Adrestia, I had Varnavas as a guide. Ah, well, I hope it's a long time before I meet him here. I'll leave you to your adventuring. You're welcome to come back to my workshop anytime. Here, Hermes. Nice. It's nice. Is it? Here we go. Meet your makers. What now? Multiple quests accepted. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, what do we have here? One for Adonis, Hakate, and Hermes. Let's see. Fearing Persephone's safety. Oh, fearing for. I should pay more attention. Fearing for Persephone's safety, Hermes asked to provide her with a guard. She, He believed Cryos of Zat, uh, Xerix was the perfect choice, but the warrior was captured by humans. Was it worth going against the rebels to free him? Interesting. Though Hakate was positive, it would be impossible to remove per Persephone's hold on the gate to the underworld completely. She had an idea that would weaken it. Hmm. Adonis' rebellion needed to gain momentum, but he was missing the key ingredient. Rebels he sent Cassandra on a re Rebels. Oh, I didn't notice that period right there. He sent Cassandra on a recruiting mission where she should have to free the minds of warriors under Persephone's control. I forget to do that every video. I remember we could do that, but I forget to. I want to I want to do that. Having met the key players in the bid for liberation against Persephone, Cassandra realized that not all was was as it seemed in its paradise, in this paradise. To power up the staff and move through this realm, she would have to both follow and defy the rules of Elysium as a double agent. Ah. Alrighty then. Well, I'm going to end the video here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, comment down below. Tell me what was your favorite part. I really enjoyed going on this whole Elysium tour with uh, Hermes and everything. It was really nice. If you guys really enjoyed the video, smash that like button. It helps a lot, and I appreciate it a crap ton. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see some more Assassin's Creed Odyssey Fate of Atlantis DLC. Don't forget. Like I said, subscribe, and if you want to keep up to date with those videos or any videos and stay notified, turn on notifications so you do get informed whenever I post a new video. And until then, I'll see you guys on the next video.